Yes. <laughs> I was just uh, reading this in The Nation, right? <laughs> February of 2018. Oh. Trump aces animal ID question on cognitive test. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of criticisms about the president. And I'm not going to tell him how to run his White House, but when you close down at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, or was it 2 o'clock? <laughs> I'm thinking you should have left it open an additional three hours so as to make sure that every American... <laughs> One hour different than we are. <laughs> it's a confusing mathematical problem, are they? <laughs> one hour ahead or one hour behind. <laughs> probably should be but <laughs> you should not be leaving your offices at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time <laughs> now I don't know what <laughs> rules there are for <laughs> the obligation of every American to be able to call during Alaska or whatever but <laughs> now <laughs> I know there's what's known as feminist living oh, look at all these women <laughs> you know child abduction oh Oh, the feminist movement. Oh, well, considering, yes. As a father, when you don't give me actual notice of court hearings, it really violates my... Do men have an ist here? Masculine ist? Is there... Well, you, you hear about the feminist movement. I've heard about it since I was young. Yes, in the 70s. <laughs> But is there actual movement among men as a, as a, well, let's say you're a man. They took your kids from you without any notice in 2011. Oh, they arrested you. You were found not guilty, but they reissued the protection order. Oh, they modified it without giving you any actual document. <laughs> oh my gosh, somebody vomited. <laughs> Now, for all the feminists out there that think that men are a real problem, mm -hmm. if I would have done the same thing, what would have happened? You issued a protection order where I wouldn't have signed the protection order? True. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to know of all the feminists. Yes. Can you get me the feminist? Mm -hmm. Can you search for feminist? F-E-M-I-N-I-S-T? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I had contacted the United Nations multiple times, yes. and uh, they're a, a non-governmental organization that works with those that are refugees. <laughs> um, now, the country, which in two, had a population of 4.2 million, is a, to an estimated 1.5 million Syrian refugees. <laughs> the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Oh, <laughs> now, um, mm hmm <laughs> Who can get me every location throughout the world that the United Nations is involved in any sort of refugee camp or any location where their employees are actually helping those that are less fortunate? Um, this Lebanese politician recently began saying that it's time for the Syrian refugees to go home. <laughs> now, um, when you violate the mm, requirements of the PKPA, mm, there's the Hague Convention, which, and then there's numerous conventions of the United Nations. I'd like to know what the United Nations is like. I feel like a refugee in my own country where I've got to call churches and put up a tent because nobody will enforce the law. Now, let's say that I did have refugee status because I'm dependent upon the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day 
Davidson to enable me to camp out on the private property of one of their parishioners. Exactly what rights do refugees have in the United States of America? Because if you had applied oops, uh, from the United Nations Relief and Works Agency yes, to have refugee status in this nation, what would you be guaranteed? Medical insurance, welfare. Is there any housing for grant? Well, let's say you're a refugee from the Middle East or something. The United Nations has been feeding you and you've been living in these types of um, Can you tell me exactly what the United States provides to every refugee from every nation once they apply for refugee status? And as a citizen, I've had some difficulty getting my actual rights enforced, mm -hmm. the laws enforced. But if I were to apply as a refugee, though, you s what would I be guaranteed? Would I be guaranteed housing for you? Now, I'm calling churches as a citizen of the United States, <laughs> as a refugee of the nation. <laughs> Give me your hand, please. I'm the United Nations Director of Refugees. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know the geographic location 20 miles down and anything being broadcast through the brain. 